Hey guys, you got lucky and we got hit by a snowstorm here in New Jersey. I went out and I took a couple of shots using the M50 with my 100mm f2.8 L lens. And then I also used the Canon RP with the 35mm 1.8 on it. And I went and I took shots using the high frame rates with the RP I shot with 60 fr frames per second. And with the M50 I shot with 120 frames per second and I made a cool little video, so let's check it out, and after that, I'm gonna bring us back into Premiere Pro and show you how I made it happen. Okay guys, so what I want to do now is show you how I went about taking the two different types of shots that I had, the one coming from the M50, which was the 120 frames per second shots, and then the other shots that were coming out of the RP that were the 60 frames per second shots. Now the end goal of this is going to be to create 4K files, so we're going to export out in 4K ultimately. But what we're going to do is we're going to work within, and I'm going to show you here, the sequence settings, okay? And I'm going to show you that we're going to be, ultimately right now, working within a 1920 by 1080 p resolution timeline at 24 frames a second. So that's what our timeline is going to be. But what we're doing is, and I'm going to show you now, if I go into the properties of these files here that are shot on my M50. So these are actually inside of the camera. It shoots at 120 frames a second and then when I stop recording it slows the file down and then exports a file at 29.97 frames per second or 30 frames per second. So the files that I ultimately get are at 30 frames a second already slowed down. Now I have two options. I could either slow them down a little more to make them meet the 24 frames per second or I can just go to modify and that's what I've done here. So what I'm doing is in the actual file, I just right click and I go to modify, interpret footage. And then you'll see that it, it is um, output at 30 frames a second, but I'm doing, I'm clicking assume this frame rate and then changing it to 24 frames a second. And that's where I'm putting these files in here. And then these files look nice and smooth, as you can see. They're nice and smooth in that 24 frame per second timeline, right? So that's what I've done to the 720p resolution. Now, the thing is, is these are also scaled. So if I right click the file within the timeline here, and you'll see that I've already clicked scale to frame size. Now, if I hadn't done that, this is what you would see. And that's because we're in a 1080p resolution timeline, and I'm using a 720p resolution file. But So what we do is we right click, and we scale that to frame size to make that 720p file scale up to the 1080p that we need it to be. So we've modified the footage down to 24 frames per second, and we've upscaled the resolution to 1080p. Now if we come over to the night shots where I used the Canon RP, right? So those, you see if I go into properties, you're going to see that those are um, 1920 by 1080p resolution shot at 60 frames per second, okay? So that's what we have coming out of the RP. Now what I've opted to do here is instead of modifying it, which I could do, um, what I've done is I've slowed it down 40%. Okay, so when you slow 60 frames per second down 40%, that makes it match up to your 24 frames per second timeline. Now I always export out in 24 frames per second because that's what people's eyes are most used to viewing when they watch movies or any type of cinematic video that they're used to watching so that's what I always um, choose to work in is 24 frames per second but that doesn't mean it's the only way to do it it's just how I do it 
Um, again, so now I've taken those files from my RP. Don't don't need to scale those at all or anything because they're already at the 1080p resolution that we want it to be. So once I've got everything set, and I've also color corrected this. Remember, everything that I've shot is in log here. So if I take the color correcting away, you'll see what these shots would look like without color. And then if I bring it back, this is after I've color corrected the uh, footage. And you see there is a pretty big difference. Shooting in log really is worth it, I'm starting to find out. So I kind of went away from it, but I'm starting to use it again as I'm getting better and learning more about color grading. But once you have everything done, you've got your music, you've got your files set where you want them, you've got your color set how you like it. Um, what we're going to do then is we're going to export this out and make it 4K. So we're going to hit Control M and we're going to export out. Now what I do here is I always use H.264 and then I go to preset and I'm going to come down here to high quality 2160p 4K. And we're going to click that. Okay, and that's going to make sure that it sets your resolution to 4K here. Now I'm also going to do use maximum render quality and I'm going to come down into these video settings and we're going to come down and we're going to find where it says VBR1 pass and we're going to change that to VBR2 pass and it's going to pass through everything twice and it's going to do a better job of making sure that the bit rates are where we want it. Now with target bit rates, because that's what this is, is variable bit rate to pass, we're going to do target bit rate at 100 and we're going to do maximum at 120 and I found that that's where I really get the cleanest images coming off from my cameras. Now once we're gonna check we're gonna go and check make sure we have everything the way we want it so again we're gonna look at everything and we see that you know our source is 1920 by 1080 which is the timeline that we created but the output is at 4k 3840 by 2160 at 24 frames per second once we make sure we have everything how we want it, you make sure you have the file going where you want, you're just going to export that out, and then you have now created a 4K video using 720p resolution shots out of an M50 and 1080p resolution shots out of your RP. Again, guys, if you think this video helped you in any way, please think about going below, subscribing, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on my next video.